In today's lesson, we are going to calculate the perimeter of the composite figures composed of triangles. As a short review, composite figure is a shape that is made up of two or more simple geometric shapes such as triangles, rectangles, circles, and so on. Let's read, analyze, and solve the short story problem. Mr. Rabang bought a cartolina for his math class. He needs two triangles of the same size without wasting any part of the cartolina. How will he divide it? What will be the perimeter of each triangle? Who bought cartolina for his math class? Yes, that's correct. Mr. Rabang bought a cartolina for his math class. How will he cut the cartolina into two triangles without wasting any part? To help Mr. Rabang dividing the cartolina into two triangles, we will use a diagonal line to make two triangles of the same size. What do you call the figure cut into two equal triangles like Mr. Rabang did to the cartolina he bought? So the figure cut into two triangles like Mr. Rabang did is what we call a composite figure. Let's find out first the measurements of the sides of the cartolina and also the measurement of the diagonal line. The length of the cartolina measures 70 centimeters, the width is 50 centimeters, and the diagonal line measures 80 centimeters. To solve the problem, we will perform four solutions. First, we will solve for the perimeter of triangle A. Next, the perimeter of triangle B, then we will calculate the, the perimeter of the two triangles and after that, we will solve for the perimeter of the composite figure. To solve for the perimeter of the two triangles, we will calculate first the perimeter of triangle A. You will notice that triangle A has no equal sides. Then we say that triangle A is equal to side 1 plus side 2 plus side 3. Triangle A is equal to side 1, 50 centimeters, plus a side 2, 70 centimeters, plus a side 3, 80 centimeters. If we will add 50 centimeters plus 70 centimeters plus 80 centimeters, we will come up with the answer of 200 centimeters. Therefore, the perimeter of triangle A is 200 centimeters. Same process in solving the perimeter of triangle B. Again, triangle B has no equal sides, same as triangle A. Then we will use the same formula as triangle A. Triangle B is equal to side 1 plus a side 2 plus a side 3. Then triangle B is equal to side 1, 50 centimeters plus a side 2, 70 centimeters plus a side 3, 80 centimeters. Add 50 centimeters plus 70 centimeters plus 80 centimeters. Then the perimeter of triangle B is 200 centimeters. To solve for the perimeter of the two triangles, just add the perimeter of triangle A and triangle B. Then we say that P is equal to triangle A plus triangle B. Then P is equal to the sum of triangle A which is 200 centimeters plus the sum of triangle B which is 200 centimeters. Add 200 centimeters plus 200 centimeters, then the perimeter of the two triangles is 400 centimeters. If we are solving for the perimeter of the composite figure, which is in rectangular shape, we will follow the formula we used in solving the perimeter of parallelogram. Since the cartolina measure 70 centimeters long and 50 centimeters wide, then our formula goes this way. P is equal to length plus length plus width plus width. Then P is equal to 70 centimeters plus 70 centimeters, which is the measurement of the opposite parallel side, plus the width, which measures 50 centimeters plus the opposite parallel side which is 50 centimeters 
add 70 centimeters plus 70 centimeters plus 50 centimeters plus 50 centimeters. Then P is equal to 240 centimeters. Therefore, the perimeter of the composite figure is 240 centimeters. At the same time, the total distance around the cartolina bought by Mr. Rabang. Let's try to read, understand, and analyze this short story problem. The grade 4 pupils of SJDM Central School were asked to draw a rhombus of two equal triangles with a side of 15 centimeters. What is the perimeter of the two triangles? What is the perimeter of the composite figure? Again, we will use same method. Solve for the perimeter of triangle A and B. Calculate the perimeter of the two triangles, then solve for the perimeter of the composite figure. Let's solve for the perimeter of triangle A. Triangle A is equal to side plus side plus side. We didn't use the formula with side 1, side 2, and side 3 since a rhombus shape has 4 equal sides. And if we are going to divide it into two triangles, each triangle has 3 equal sides also. Then we say that P is equal to 15 centimeters plus 15 centimeters plus 15 centimeters. Add up all the sides of triangle A, then we will come up with the answer of 45 centimeters. Therefore, the perimeter of triangle A is 45 centimeters. Now it's your turn to do your own solution. Calculate for the perimeter of triangle B. Solve for the perimeter of the two triangles and find the perimeter of the composite figure. Let's see if we will have the same answers.